Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is me again. And today I just got a little quick taste test of sorts. Uh, trying out the new computer. I'm loving the camera, I'm loving the setup. I uh, have the, the desk facing towards the wall instead of facing where the movies were shown before. Uh, kind of a balance between the two channels, I guess. I don't know. Um, in the future, I'll be using my camera a lot more instead of the, the computer camera. Uh, but for now, just for simplicity's sake and because I want to try the camera out, I'm using this. Anyways, Lay's has released some uh, new flavors. And I hear the sirens in the distance every fucking time, man. Okay, they've passed. It's, it's unbelievable. If you've seen my other videos, you know I'm telling the truth. Every time I start recording, somebody has a fire. Or tries to die in the street. Just die on your own time, man. Okay, anyways. They've got these four new flavors out. I was only able to get three of them. I've only found three. It caught me off guard. I just happened to be at Walgreens and I saw them say, hey, new flavors. Um, but I've got two big bags... And then I stopped at Subway to get a sandwich and they had a little bag. So those are the three flavors I have. The flavor I'm missing is Chinese Szechuan chicken. And uh, whatever happened to potato chips just tasting like potato chips? Salt and potatoes, that's all it was. Or if you were lucky, you had um, uh, barbecue <laughs> or maybe some kind of like, you know, sour cream and onion. But they are really going off in the flavors, which is good. It's good to have variety. But they're making them taste like dinner. Potato chips are not dinner. They're a side dish to dinner sometimes, maybe. Anyways, I'm not here to preach. I'm here to eat. Uh, I got on Google to find out how to pronounce these. I've never heard of them before. This is Brazilian picanha. That's one way I heard it pronounced. Don't get after me. It might be pronounced another way, but that's how I heard it pronounced. And that's what I'm sticking with, picanha, which is uh, a steak. It's a, see, a little... Piece of steak right there. It's steak. So, um, yeah, that'll be interesting. I also got Indian tikka man masala. Tikka, tikka masala. I've never had it. I don't know if I can compare it to anything. And this one really caught my eye, and I'm really having high hopes for this one. Greek tzatziki, or a, a second way I heard it pronounced was chachiki, which is the Greek pronunciation. Uh, tzatziki is the sauce that they put on gyros. Um, and I probably pronounced that wrong too, but that's how I pronounce it. So there you go. I heard gyros, gyros, gyros is how I pronounce it. It's an easy layman's term. Get off my case. I'm going to save... Well, you know what? I'm going to eat this one first, because I don't want these flavors to mix with this and make me go, Ah, oh, that failed. I, I'm really hoping this tastes like the sauce, which is like a cucumber-based, herby kind of sauce. Yogurt. has a, a yogurt base with a cucumber flavor and some herbs in it. So, let's go with this one first, shall we? Oh, right off the bat, that smells good. Yeah. Hmm, okay. I was more impressed with the scent. On the one hand, I have to say, they pretty much nailed the flavor, but on the other hand, I don't think it really goes good on potatoes. And excuse the little dinging and donging and all that other stuff, I should have closed out the Facebook window. I didn't. My fault. Uh, and the traffic outside, I'm closer to the window now, so you're going to hear a lot more of that. I can't wait to get to a high-rise apartment. Hmm. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed. I mean, scent-wise, it's awesome. But the taste, it, it got the flavor, but it's just the mix of potato and salt. It's a potato chip before it's anything else, so you got to kind of expect potato and salt, right? But, like, if it was to serve like this, I wouldn't dip chips in it. 
You know what I mean? Moving on. Indian tikka masala. I've heard of tikka masala. Ooh, that's really even an afterbite there. But I don't know what I'm supposed to expect. Wow. <laughs> well, that's like intense barbecue. Man, the seasoning on that is wow. That was a, uh, by the way, that was a ruffled chip. It was a, a wavy chip. This is just a regular kettle cooked chip. Hmm. I've never tasted tikka masala, but. Let's see here. Packed with flavorful spices like turmeric. I don't know. Cumin. Oh, okay. Cumino. I'm down. The tomato based dish tikka masala is a fixture in global cuisine. Really? Open this flavor and bring some cushy to your day. Who couldn't use a little more cushy in their day? Uh, I'm digging this. I like it. It's got a semi-sweet flavor, but the spice really comes through on this. Man. And I love Kettle cooked chips. Favorite chips ever. Not really much into wavy chips. Kettle cooked is the way to go. It's more flavorful. If time and good taste were not a factor, I'd finish this bag right here now in front of everyone. But That gets a big thumbs up for me. I like it. Makes me want to go out and find the closest Indian restaurant and try actually try tikka masala now. And we got Brazilian picanha, which I said was fake. What to expect from such a chip? I don't know. Steak and chimichurri sauce. I guess that's chimichurri. Or chimichurri. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I was expecting something beefier. Picanha. The finest cut of Brazilian steak is skewer grilled with coarse salt to lock in flavor. Mix in the bright flavors of the chimichurri sauce and you'll be saying mais por favor. M-A-I-S, mais. Ah, okay. The unique flavors of the sauce are coming through now. Mmm. It's good. Different. There's a Brazilian steakhouse right around the corner for me. Maybe I should try the Brazilian steak and compare it to this and see how close it came to nailing that flavor. Mmm. It's pretty good. The only thing I got to zing it for is I'm not a big fan of thin chips. I mean, chips are chips. They're, you know, not being too nitpicky, but I prefer kettle cooked. But 
But you know, I can't really nail the flavor. I keep tasting something real familiar about this. I don't know. But it's good. Well, to sum it up, the wavy Greek tzatziki was a bit disappointing. And on a scale from 1 to 10, I give it a 5. Brazilian picanha. I can't say they didn't nail the flavor because I've never tasted that kind of steak before. But I was expecting a little bit more of a steak flavor. Um, but I can't say it disappointed. I give this one a 7 out of 10. But this one, oh, mmm, 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 all right, knock it off, man. Indian tikka masala. Easy. Nine out of ten. It's got some spice on there. I never pictured like I've never had cumin on a chip. Flamino, I've never had it on a chip. It works really good in there. The spice is lingering, but it's not overbearing like a habanero chip. Or like a flaming hot. It's not that kind of spice, but it is, it is a little spicy. You will taste the spice there. 9 out of 10 for me on that one. The Chinese Szechuan chicken will get its own video as soon as I find a bag of it. Looking forward to that. I just had Chinese food today, too, so it's going to be kind of interesting to taste that. But what do all three of these have in common? Salty! And how do we get rid of salty? We drink something. So this portion of the video is brought to you by Deep Ellum's Nido Bandito. Ah, salud. Thank you one and all for joining me. It is most appreciated. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I prefer you didn't thumb it down, but if you must, you must. Okay. Until next time, which may be when I find the Chinese chips, um, I'll see you all again real soon. Take care.